Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. Today, I completed two heirloom bubbles for little girl cousins. I made one in pink that's got some hand embroidery detail on the front. It's got a fancy lace insertion with some beading and silk ribbon along the front. Um, rather than a Peter Pan collar, it's got a ruffled neck and entredeau edge. And then the sleeves have, instead of having a fabric cuff, they've got a fancy beading with silk ribbon and ruffled lace. And like I said, I also made a blue bubble because these are for little girl cousins. Um, and they're made out of imperial batiste rather than Swiss batiste because imperial batiste uh, doesn't wrinkle as quite as badly as the Swiss batiste does. Now, the pattern that I used to create these two bubbles is by Cherry Williams, and it's her Baby Bubbles pattern. Now, I used this pattern, but to be frank, any bubble pattern that you have will probably work. Now, this is project number one in my playlist series of me sewing my way through my classic and vintage uh, heirloom patterns. So if you want to follow along, look for playlist number one. Um, look for my play, look on the, look under the playlist tab, uh, find project number one. And I believe there's a series of 23 very short fact filled videos as I sew the garments. Now here's the materials list for making one bubble. Um, and this is a may is it's just slightly generous, so you may be able to get by with it just a little bit less. But this is going to be you know enough to finish a bubble. You need one and a quarter yards of batiste. Now you can use either imperial batiste or Swiss batiste. That's your choice. You need two yards of half inch French edging lace. You need one yard of five eighths inch French insertion lace one yard of three-eighths inch Swiss entredeau beading, two and a half yards of quarter inch silk ribbon, about four yards of Swiss entredeau. You'll need three three-eighths inch buttons, pearl buttons for the back of the bodice, and two sets of plastic snaps for the crotch. But this has been a real fun project to make. Let me see if I can zoom out where you can see the whole bubble. I think that's about as far as I can go. Um, but this has been a fun project. It's been a fun project to video. And for everybody who's been following me along on this first project, um, I just want to thank you. But this is what I'm doing today. Thank you.